Today's video is brought to you by Weightlifting 2.0. This is the next generation in our weightlifting program. It is a fully encapsulated 12 week training block, four sessions per week, it includes all your snatches, clean and jerks, squats, pulls, and assistance work, and then peaks at the end for your snatch and your clean and jerk and your squat. So if you wanted the peak for competition, you would start this 13 weeks out and you'd get the peak week from us and you'd have a great competition. There'll be more blocks released in the coming weeks. And it also gets you access to the Facebook group where we do weekly coaching live streams and give you feedback on your technical training and your questions. Welcome back to Sikistan. Got a pretty cool training vlog for you today. So a live session with Anton where we're going over my clean and my behind the neck jerk. And I caught a lot of the raw footage of Anton correcting me, giving me his feedback and explaining why he wants me to do it this way. So there's sections where I'm just going to let Anton talk and I'll give you a little comment over the rest of the session, what I'm feeling and what I'm thinking and what it's how it's going in terms of the weights. So a very good session today. More has been improved on, but there's a lot more to improve on. There's much heavier weights to be lifted, but it is going in the right direction. And I'm very happy with that. So let's get going with the session. So Anton prefers or likes when I add in some block cleans. These would kind of be low block cleans, but he kind of wants them just below the knee. Uh, he said it's a simpler movement that lets me focus on the more important aspects and certain bits that he wants me to focus on to improve my clean. So I'm still doing my own programming, but I get a session with Anton once every two weeks to update, see how I'm progressing with the technique. Then I go away and work on that stuff and then come back and get a session with him. So here's just 50 kilos. No, I can't rack 50 kilos. No one with any appreciable muscle mass can rack 50 kilos, guys. But it does get better later. So first clean up 50 kilos. And let's hear what Anton has to say. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of tension in my hamstring and back, is that correct? Yes, yes, yes. Back, back, yes, and all hips back. Yeah, there one moment. Yep. You, uh, the bar moves to you, not you moves to bar. Yeah? Uh, I show you. Uh, this way, you hold position, bar moves closer to you, and next you do a quarter trance. Not you moves to bar. Okay, so don't do that. Yes, yes. Because uh, uh, second rep, third rep, you do it like this. You hold that position good, but next moves you do it like this. Okay, okay. And not good extension your uh, your your legs. Try hold chest over the bar, yes, and not lean back. Hold position is okay. Okay. So what Anton was saying there was essentially that I am pulling my shoulders back behind the barbell too early and I'm bringing my hips towards the barbell too soon. And if any of you have been coached by myself or Dara or you're on the Facebook group and you'll, you've heard this feedback and it's no different from me. Everyone wants to bring their hips in too early to smash the barbell away and swing it. But it is a correction that needs to be fixed. So he was saying bring the bar to you, don't bring yourself to the barbell. So don't let that center of the mass pull you away, pull you forward. Don't let that uh, barbell's forward toppling effect happen. So the gravity is pulling you forward in this scenario because the weight is toppling you over. And here we're just working up to 90 kilos. So feeling pretty good at these. Rack position is warming up, of course. And I'm trying to keep my knees further back from the barbell. Hips are higher and further back. And then I'm trying to keep my shoulders over and not smash the barbell away from me. Yeah. 
So yeah. there you could probably hear, but Anton was essentially telling me I'm sitting too upright in the bottom position. Now, this is a very Ukrainian, very specific to Ukraine, but they don't like the hips sitting all the way in and a perfectly upright torso in the clean. They like those hips sitting slightly back. Now, their reasoning for this is if you imagine the hip joint traveling in a vertical line, they want that going straight down and up. They don't want this kind of J-hook at the bottom where your hips come down and then you sit in. They don't think you can catch as good a bounce in the bottom and they don't think that you are in as good a position to stand upright with the barbell and they don't think it's the fastest way to get to the bottom position and get out of that bottom position. So I'm trying to also focus on keeping those hips slightly back for someone with a lot of dorsiflexion Coupled with these new Reebok Legacies, it's very easy for me to sit into the bottom position with my hips. So you'll see some reps are much better in terms of the stand-up, the second set at 110 for a triple. Obviously, weights are moving really well, but you'll see I'm standing up better because I'm better able to hit that position. Now, here's the first set at 120 for a triple, which isn't great. I'm not happy with it. The weight is moving well, but technically, I'm pulling my shoulders back too early. Hips are into the barbell too early. I'm sitting my hips in too much. You can see those shift back as I stand up. So all around, no bueno. So there you can hear Anton telling me that it's easy to hit the lighter weights. You can make big contacts, smash the barbell, but it doesn't transfer over very well at heavy weights because it slows the barbell down and it makes obviously for a large loop away. So this second set at 120 was much better. One of the big things, as among the many things I'm working on, was relaxing my arms. So there's a much faster contact, much smoother turnover when I relax my arms, when there's not a lot of tension, when I'm not slightly pulling with my arms, when they're much looser, they transfer the force much better from the rest of your body and it's a lot smoother time. So here's the first set at 130, first single, wasn't happy, little hop forward, too much swing for me. It felt slow, but it didn't look that slow here. Second single at 130, uh, heaviest than the block clean so far and a little bit happier at this, but still the shoulders are coming back too early. Uh, but it's certainly a better clean and very, very happy compared to a couple of weeks ago. Now, let's see the jerk. No. Yes. So, so flex triceps and then relax. Okay, so guys, they were working on the overhead position on my jerk. And you know I've been talking about the elbow extension and the overhead position needing to improve and get back to where it was before the couple of months or downtime from weightlifting. But it's so funny. So Anton was like, put the barbell further back behind your head. And then when I put it back behind my head, you probably saw there, that feels like to me that it was super far behind my head. That was like squat jerk levels of mobility. Looking at it in the video, I'm not even sure if you can see my ears and it's so funny this is why you need a coach because self-objectivity is so hard on every little detail I'm actually recording some of it from the side with the phone. And when I look at it, I couldn't stop laughing because the barbell is hardly behind my head. But it feels so much more secure here when I push it back further. So my issue with the last few weeks was I was putting so much tension on my, my shoulders by going vertically and not putting the barbell behind my head on the split jerk. So there's so much tension. 
and this I need to really get it further back in this position so I'm driving the barbell backwards or what it feels like to me in the behind the neck split jerk so I need to then let my triceps take the load he says to relax my shoulders so if I push my shoulders up into this I'm not going to be able to fully take the load on my triceps and less musculature will be taking the load and it's quite a difficult position to get into because I haven't been practicing in it and I essentially forgot what that feels like so that was obviously a natural position for me before but when I lost that mobility and now I'm trying to get it back it feels so alien and it feels so different that it is something that I really need to work on and when I asked Anton I was like what's the best stretch for this or what's the best kind of uh, mobility aspect I should do for this and he goes this it's jerks he said Look, you can stretch with the door frame, you can do your hands over your head, you can do the prayer stretch and all that's great stuff. But he said, realistically, you won't build the right position here without just doing this with heavier weights. And you can practice even with lighter weights, but only heavy weights and holding them there will really reinforce this position. And that is that kind of static position. So this is something I really we're trying to work on. We only worked up to 120 on the jerks today because I went heavier on the Thursday. So I hit one to 50. Uh, so I need to max my clean from the ground again without straps. Uh, so the last time I did 140, but that was like six weeks ago at this stage. So when I'm feeling good, I will go for a heavier clean. And then on the jerks, I'll go heavier again as well soon enough as there's a lot of power there, but it's the technique and mobility that's slightly holding me back at the moment. And so still building a lot of volume. Uh, power cleans are going quite well. So I'm quite happy with those. And on those jerks, you can see that I'm really trying to force that barbell back behind my head. If you look at my left arm, you'll see that the lockout is quite good, but you'll still see a lot of tension in my right arm in terms of it's slightly bent and a little bit of wobble in my bicep because the wrong aspects are taking the load. And uh, my shoulder, right shoulder is pretty sore the day after. Not sore in terms of the joint or anything like that. The literal, just my anterior delts were quite inflamed from not having taken that load in quite a while at those positions. So I hope you enjoyed today's session. It's alien to me. It's amazing to me that we can have videos like this. I know I'm always trying to bring, we're always trying to bring you the best videos possible across everything, weightlifting, powerlifting, the sports. We always want you to get the most information. We don't want to hold any information back. And this kind of video for me, for a weightlifter, something like this 10 years ago would have been just absolutely insane to see this level of detail so that's why i'm super keen to bring it i know it's a little bit more common not super common but i hope you get something out of it i hope you enjoy listening to it and seeing what it's like because i certainly do <laughs>